your local news leader. This is Meet Your Neighbor. Hello everyone, I'm here with Dr. Arthi Sang. She's a cardiologist from the Cardiovascular Institute of the South. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank, Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. So uh, first of all, what does it feel like being the first female cardiologist uh, in the region? It feels great. Um, it took a lot of hard work, uh, passion for what I love to do, and of course the support of family and friends. Uh, I'm excited to be here to provide cardiovascular care um, to the Lafayette region and to women in particular. That's right, I, I was reading your bio and you do focus on women in particular. So how does cardiovascular disease affect women in the United States? Immensely. It is a leading cause of death in women over the age of 65. Wow. In fact, a quarter of a million women die of cardiovascular disease every year according to the CDC. That's one in four female deaths. That does not include the morbidity and the suffering that comes with. Wow, wow, so definitely a problem. Definitely a problem that needs to be addressed. Um, are there any differences between heart and vascular disease among men and women? Yes, I'm so happy that you, answer, you asked this question. So this is an important distinction I want the audience to understand. There's not only a difference in presentation, but also outcome in men and women. So women, when they present with a heart attack, they may not have the symptoms of chest pain. Oftentimes they report fewer symptoms overall compared to men. And then when they do end up going to the ED with, with a presentation that suggests a heart attack, they are at greater risk of being discharged home without receiving complete cardiovascular care. So this leads to more women dying more likely and also having greater morbidity and suffering from, from having a heart attack. Now in the peripheral vascular arena, women present generally at a later age and they, pre they present with more progressed disease. So they present with complications sort of at end stage of the disease. So with critical limb ischemia, with rupture of the aortic, you know, the aortic root from an aortic aneurysm. Mm -hmm. Also, when they, they're more likely to have complications from um, limb, limb amputations, should that be needed. Wow, lots of good information there. Uh, startling information as startling. well. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. We are out of time, but where can people go to find more information? They can go to cardio.com. We have various locations available where women can um, get the access and, uh, and uh, to cardiovascular care. Perfect. Thank you so much for being here. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. We'll be right back. Introducing